The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. Hey there, I'm Sean Barrett, and this is Northern Songs. Northern Songs is a show that highlights local songwriters. These are your friends and neighbors, the people right in your backyard who are producing great music, and sometimes you don't know that, so we're trying to get that out there for them. We're going to encourage you to go to their shows, uh, pick up their music, legally download their tunes, and generally support the scene, you know, because if you don't, then these songwriters don't sell records, and at the end of the day, uh, maybe they don't get to record their tunes anymore for you to hear. And I'm really pleased to have a guy named uh, Spencer Jose joining me. How you doing, man? Good, thanks. Good, Very good. good. Yeah. So, uh, Spencer, we don't know each other. We've uh, we've never met. This is kind of the first time, and uh, I'm, I'm pleased to meet you and uh, interested to know, um, you know, what kind of... What brought you to this point where you're on a TV show, you're talking about your songwriting? When did you start writing tunes? Uh, it's been a while in the making, I guess. I've, you know, I started uh, when I was 17, which is considered like a late start in these days, which is kind of insane. Mm -hmm. 17 is young enough, but uh, yeah, I started doing covers and playing in other bands, and then I thought, you know, my voice I always kind of felt confident in, and uh, I just started going and writing and trying. Like, I'm still trying. I'm not really there yet. I don't feel like I'm maybe... Um, where I aim to be in maybe a couple years time, but I'm working on it. Awesome. Yeah. Um, you play drums in a band as well? Is it? Yeah, a band called Coast Redwood. It's kind of like an indie rock and roll thing going okay. on. Um, I started playing drums a while ago. I've never had a kit. I've always just kind of, you know, when we're at a jam space, dink around or whatever. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm good enough to play in a band, so why not? Okay, <laughs> and, and you guys recorded at Cosmic Dave's? Yeah, we have a four song EP that will be coming out in the summer in time for uh, River and Sky Festival, which mm -hmm. we'll be playing at. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, River and Sky is also a great place for uh, singer songwriters to play. You aspire to eventually uh, play there, maybe. Yeah, I stuff. hope. Uh, I hope when this album is finally done, the one I'm working on, I can eventually hit festival season and start doing those kind of things. Because I've done them in the past with other bands, you know, side guys. Like I toured with Ox, and we've played some shows and festivals. But I want to, want to kind of bring my own stuff to the table, I guess. And right. Tell me a little bit about your uh, about your music and you know the stuff that you're writing. Or you're in, you're in this band, but what's different about the stuff that you're doing on your own? Well, a lot of my stuff, uh, a lot of my earlier stuff, anyway, has kind of uh, it's mellower. It's uh, I like the the idea of harmonies and melodies, and I want to showcase the singing aspect of it. A lot of other bands I've been in have been guitar solos and you know energy and stuff like that. I have uh, things I want to say like. A lot of my songs come out uh, of me. I don't really write them necessarily, and mm -hmm. I feel like I do have something I want to say, and I want to be able to back that with my voice and some other beautiful people. Cool. Well, that's interesting that you said that. I want to come back to that, but uh, why don't we get you to play a tune? Sure. What song are you going to play? Happy to. Uh, it doesn't even have a name yet. That's how new it is. Wow. Yeah, I wrote it awesome. last week. So. Cool. There it is. All right. We'll call it Armageddon. Okay. Okay. And grips your throat, it steals your breath and shakes your soul like it's Armageddon. I've worn my skin and tired my bones, and I fought it hard, but it knows me well. It knows me well So I'm taking all My vitamins And I'm polishing my boots And reloading my weapons And I'm ready set To win the war And I'm sure of myself Demons, 
You tireless beast, and I've buried your great king, and I've cured your disease, and I'll go on living for what's to come, and not a regret a moment, not a one thing that I've done, and I know it in my mind that I put it to the test, and no matter the outcome, I gave it my best, I gave it my best. I give it my Sands of time is always grains of light. Where the ocean meets land is always tied to fight. When life is calling, the weight of all your dreams remains. I'm polishing my boots and reloading my weapon. So, Armageddon, that's a great tune, man. I love that. You just wrote that last week. Yeah, I started it a while ago, but I finished it last week. Okay. Just kind of, you know, finishing touches. I really thought what you said was really cool, and I want to come back to you uh, before, we, before you played the tune. Uh, you said, like, you don't really write the songs. They just kind of come out, you, come mm. out of you. And... I kind of think that too. So tell me, expand on that a little bit more if you can. You know, like what, what's that feeling like for you? Sometimes it's more obvious than others. There's times where I start with a chord or a melody idea and uh, it just starts going. Like I put my pen to the paper and, you know, I can't just, I'm not a writer. I don't read a lot even. So I can't just, uh, you know, put it down consciously. And I feel like a lot of times it just comes out. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes I write a song in literally an afternoon. Like from the bottom up, the chords, of lyrics, everything like that just comes out and it feels good when it's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's especially nice when they just kind of come flying out of you. Eh? And yeah. And, you know, it's there and, and it's, it's almost like, uh, you know, painting a wall or something. It's like, hey, look at that. I, I did, find I sometimes, that, right? for me, they're some of my best ones. The times where I try and, you know, I'm going to write a song today kind of attitude doesn't always work. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes when they, just, when they just flow out of you, then they usually end up being a little bit more passionate. And uh, it comes all at once, and you just got to be cool with it, I guess. So, are you going to? You figure you're playing at the Northern Lights Festival. You you won Meltdown. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on Thank that. You. That's very cool. Yeah, that's a huge opportunity. So, are you going to write some more songs before then? Are you going to work on the stuff you got now? Like, are you going to whip something off three days before? And uh, probably knowing me, yeah, I'm yeah. going to write uh, my whole set list a couple days before. No, I have a couple that I know, like staples of my set or what I have right now. Mm -hmm. But I definitely want to make a couple more because, you know, we're going to be outside. I want it to be fun. I don't want to go up there and play my depressing country songs or whatever. Right. You know, maybe one of them. But, uh, so, yeah. And uh, you can have a full band? Yeah, I'm going to have yeah. a backing band. It's going to be, like, low-key stuff. We're not going to be, you know, uh, tapping or anything like that. But um, there's definitely going to be a band. Some guys, local guys I know, talented guys from other bands are going to jump on with me awesome. so we can get some harmonies there and get the whole idea of the song out, you know. And where can, uh, where can people find your music right now if they're looking for it? I mean, are you, you haven't recorded yet, mm -hmm. but you're going to soon. So I've been recording little demos to keep people interested. Yeah. So uh, on uh, spencerjose.bandcamp.com, I slowly kind of put songs up every once in a while. I have two on right now. So, you know, next, uh, next couple of weeks I might have four or five or whatever. This one? This yeah, one? Come on. This one probably. It's a really good tune. Yeah, this I one love probably. it. Thanks. Listen, thanks a lot for coming in. It's yeah, been a pleasure you. meeting you, man. You too. Take it easy. All right.